Good morning guys, welcome to the YouTube channel of the Bitcoin family. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the guy that a few years ago, about three years ago, sold all his belongings, inclusive his house, his cars, his companies, even the toys of the kids, yes, also the bikes of the kids, and then we went all into Bitcoin. Since then, we have been traveling the world. We started with this beautiful camper van and still traveling the world now. We are, I am now coming to you guys from Chalaklam Beach in Koh Phangan, Thailand. I do think we are going to change our location very soon, but I will keep you up to date about this. Today, guys, we are going to talk, of course, about the Bitcoin price because I showed you in yesterday's video that I bought 0.5 Bitcoin. We are going to dig deeper into the reason why. I'm going to show you a few really cool charts on which you can see the signals why I bought Bitcoin yesterday and why I probably will add some more Bitcoin today because these signals short term and long term are showing me guys that Bitcoin is soon going up. Also looking into the presidential elections in America because we have two blockchain people that are now running for president. Yes, Kanye West and Brock Pierce. And of course also showing you this amazing t-shirt that Jessa created yesterday evening while I was having some fun with friends at our house. Heck, maybe that's the reason why I'm wearing this Run BTC t-shirt that you can of course buy in our store at thebitcoinfamily.com. Yeah, I need to do some promotion because some of the profits of these shirts go to good causes as well. We share them with poor people all around the world. Enjoy this video, guys. Let's take a jump into my office. Yes, welcome to my office on this beautiful beach of Chalaklam. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend this last weekend and I hope you didn't stress too much about the price but just zoomed in at live. Today it is Monday and we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price and some other stuff of course. Probably a short video as I need to do another YouTube show at 11 in the morning and I still need to edit this video etc. Let's get to it. The Bitcoin price, of course you know that we always look at the bulls and the bears. Let's start with the bears. The bears still think they can push... The bears still think that they can push us down for the 8 time below 9k. And they still think they can push us all the way down to the 8k region and even to the 7k region. If we look at the big picture, yes, and the Elliott wave. If we are in this huge Elliott wave, we could take it all the way down and indeed to 5k. There are some bearish indicators that are telling us that we are going down. Like the weekly chart, you can see the MACD is almost going to do a bearish crossover. I say almost because it hasn't done a bearish crossover yet. But mostly when the weekly MACD crosses over bearish, then you know we can see a small pullback. But on the other hand, guys, there are so many bullish indicators. So I prefer to focus on the bullish ones because I really believe in the law of attraction, which means if you focus on something you want to reach or if you focus on something you want to have or you, if you focus on something that you need in your life, it will come. And for me, I'm focusing on a bull run, so it will come. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. But I didn't buy my 0.5 Bitcoin for nothing yesterday. I really think we are going upwards from here. I am even thinking on adding some more to the portfolio today as I saw that we are still above 9k at the moment. And we would talk yesterday about the funding rate and that the funding rate was going negative to almost zero. I told you guys that I saw this as an indicator that we could get a 1k to 2k Bitcoin candle. Um, I don't think I was very clear on this, so that's why I tried to uh, make it a little bit clearer by using this chart. That one. If you look at this chart, it's very clear. You see these red squares on the top? These red squares show us the tops we saw in the last two years in Bitcoins. Every time you see this red square, we see a crash or a dip uh, afterwards. And if you look to these red squares on the top and then you look and then you vertically go all down to the chart, you can see the funding rate. And every time you see this red square, you see a positive funding rate. In the last two years, guys, every red square goes together with a positive funding rate. And now let's look to today. 
if we look at today, a lot of people think we have a top and we were going to crash down from here. But if you look to today's price level and then look all the way down, you can see we have a negative funding rate. So if we would drop down from here, that will be the first time in two years time that we don't do what the charts are telling us. Because normally we see a top when the funding rate is positive. Today the funding rate is negative. So for me, we didn't see a top yet. For me, we are going up now. That is why I bought the Bitcoin yesterday. Because I think we are going up now and then see this red square and then see a positive funding rate and then see a, light, a slight pullback. But we don't know if this top will be 11K or 12K, 14K, if the FOMO really hits the people. So I am waiting for that moment before I exchange back again to US dollar Tether or Pax or DAI. You know, that's how I play the game. So that's why I bought the 0.5 Bitcoin. That is my trading stack. My hodling stack is still safe. I don't touch my hodl stack. I'm only touching my trading stack. And as you know, guys, we as a family live fully on crypto. It is always a risk. But for me, 0.5 Bitcoin buying, to calculate it, let's make it easy. I just bought 0.5 Bitcoin yesterday, which is around 5,000 US dollar. And let's say Bitcoin is 10 at the moment. And let's say Bitcoin goes to 12,000 US dollar. So that Bitcoin increases with $2,000, I just earned $1,000. So these $1,000 provide me of a beautiful life here in Thailand again for a month. This is how I sometimes try to multiply my Bitcoins. Because just the charts are showing me something and my gut feeling is telling me, yes, Didi, we could go up from this moment. And if we go up, I can just easily not make a 1 or 2K profit depending on how much Bitcoin I, I buy. Or even, guys, when I feel a little bit more risky, I do a leverage trade and I go long on Bitcoin. And if I go long on Bitcoin, I will use one of these new exchanges to test them because I really like their features. So if you want to play this long and short game on Bitcoin, and if you're up to this leverage trading, if you're a little bit more pro, not a beginner, then I got, then guys, please check out Bybit and Dudex. These two new exchanges, they give you really cool sign-up deals at the moment. If you use my referral link, you get a up to $300 bonus on Dudex, and you get a $90 sign-up bonus on Bybit. So check Bybit and Dudex, sign up there if you're in for leverage trading guys because then you can multiply your profit but be aware because you need to have understanding of this market because it's also possible to lose big time if you play the leverage trading game that's why i always say only trade with that amount of money you are prepared or willing to lose but to come back to the chart yes in the last two years bitcoin has not once not once shown us a top when the funding rate was negative so guys, I really think we will go up and maybe even with an explosive candle of 1 to 2k in Bitcoin in the next couple of days, guys. Also, if you look at this chart, this is a three-day volatility chart where we use the numbers of the BitMEX exchange. If you look at this three-day chart, you can see that we are seeing a low since March 2019. We haven't seen the volatility low like this since March 2019. Do you still remember what happened in March 2019? I will remind you to what happened, guys, because not everybody is watching the charts every day. It took us from December 2018 to, do Mar to March 2019 in this tight consolidation phase, bouncing in this huge sideways movement. In March, on this three-day chart, guys, we saw this low volatility as well. And on the 1st of April then, guys, we saw a 25% rally in Bitcoin. This can happen now again. We have been going sideways for a very long period now. And the volatility is again at this very low point, same level as in March 2019. So after having this low volatility and after this long period of sideways, we will see an explosive move, guys. And my bet is that we are going up again like we did in March 2019. My bet is that we can do a 25% move in a day. And that would mean, guys, that if you calculate 25% from like 9K, that will be a 2K candle. 
That's why I made those videos. Are we going to see a 2K candle? Yes, I believe so. Then we have another chart, this one, WAP. Also a cool effect, cool effect isn't it? WAP. Huh. Let me know, which one do you prefer? The kst or the WAP? <laughs> then we have another three-day chart. On this three-day chart, you can see the stock RSI. Um, also referred to as a stochastic, stochastic. What is a stock RSI? The stock RSI is an indicator that gives us a signal when we are overbought or oversold. So when too many bitcoins are being sold or too many bitcoins are being bought. And then this gives, gives a signal, guys, we are overbought, so we are going to turn around in the market. This is an indicator that many people use as well to trade. The stock RSI is now reaching the oversold levels like we saw in March 2020. Exactly. We are nearing the same stock RSI level that we saw in March 2020. And in March 2020, not so long ago guys, what did we see Bitcoin doing in March 2020? We saw it bottoming out at 3,700-ish when the stock RSI was oversold as well at the same level and then we flew up with a 150% rally to 10,500. Be aware, it's a three-day chart, guys, yes, but you can see that the same thing happened in March. We saw the same level of being oversold and we've explodedly grew with 150% to 10,500. We are now reaching the same oversold level, which makes me also think that we will go up with Bitcoin soon. Even if we zoom a little bit more out to the stock RSI and we take this chart where we see the monthly stock RSI, also the monthly stock RSI is very positive at the moment. So also the monthly stock RSI is, is showing us that we are going up from here, guys. This together with all the other monthly indicators I shared with you, I don't know if you still all remember them, but if you don't, please watch these videos again because these indicators are just very important because they are long-term indicators. And if you're an investor and not a day trader, you need to look at these long-term indicators. You need, don't need to look and stress out on these five minute and one day charts. You need to zoom out, look at the long-term indicators, the Powell indicator, the hash ribbon indicator, all these long-term indicators are telling us we are going up. Even the TD sequential I talked about last week, you know that the first green one is shown on a TD sequential. If you look to the six month chart, even zooming out more, every time we saw this green one on a TD sequential on a six month chart, guys, the next 18 months, the next three six month candles, we went up. Long-term is, all the long-term indicators showing us very bullish momentum. And now also the stock RSI on the three day chart is showing us that we could again maybe see this 150% bull, 150% run up from here if we do the same as we did in the beginning of this year around March. That was all the price news for today's guys. Like I said, I need to keep it a little bit short because I'm doing another YouTube show at 11 and I wanna have this video out before that time. Um, some other really cool news guys. Let me know what you think about this but before I'm going to talk about it, Please give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your communities, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video and leave a comment so that I can continue with making the rest of this content of the video. Yes, I'm waiting. I have some time. Don't need to work today. Yeah, I will stay on the beach here in this hot sun until you pushed the thumbs up button. Subscribe, share, hit the notification bell Leave a small comment. Hi Didi, how are you? Good morning, good morning. You can type it like this as well. Okay, did you do it? I will continue the video. What do you guys think about the presidential elections in the States? It's not only Trump that is running for president, but now we have Kanye West and Brock Pierce. Both of these guys can win if it is up to me because both of these guys are very bullish on blockchain and Bitcoin. These are huge blockchain and Bitcoin entrepreneurs at the moment. So they need to become president of the United States because if, if they become president of the if they become president of the United States, guys, my God, this will be very, very, very bullish for blockchain and crypto. Um, I don't know how it works in the United States. I think to run for president, you even need to pre-register and all that stuff. It's very last minute that these guys are adding themselves to the pre presidential elections in the States. I think Kanye West didn't even fill all the forms he needs to fill to run for president. Brock Pierce did. 
I don't know if you know Brock Pierce, guys. Uh, Kanye West, you probably know because he's a very famous uh, singer and everybody knows his music. Brock Pierce, guys, was a child, a child movie star in the States and then became this multi-billionaire entrepreneur with a lot of investments in all the big projects, guys. He's invested in Tether, he's invested in EOS, he was a very early adapter in Bitcoin. Um, he even created this town, I think in Puerto Rico, that was a Bitcoin town. You can see him as a very good entrepreneur. I saw Brock a few times. I think the last time we spoke together was in the blockchain cruise um, from Barcelona to Rome. Yes, we spent some uh, evenings there together and we drank some beautiful whiskey and talked about blockchain and life. Um, he is a very good speaker. I think he's a very knowledgeable guy when it comes to blockchain and crypto. I don't know if he is the perfect uh, candidate to run for president, but um, why not? You know, these entrepreneurs like Trump was an entrepreneur as well and he became president. I think it was Reagan or one of these guys that was like a, a movie star. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor from California. So uh, everything is possible in the United States of America. So why couldn't Kanye West or Brock Pierce become president? They have the support, I think, of the community. So both of these are going to run for president. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know who you would prefer. Would you prefer or Kanye West or would you prefer Brock Pierce? And why do you prefer the one you chose? So Kanye West or Brock Pierce, who needs to become the new president of the United States of America? A very other cool news fact, guys, is that UNICEF, UNICEF, how do you pronounce it in English, is stepping into the blockchain industry a little bit more. They have now a 100K fund that they divide between many blockchain startups that are doing or building a project that will improve the quality of the poor people in the world. I saw that one of the project, for example, is tracking all the rice and all the food. And you might think, uh, how is this going to improve the quality of the poor people in the world? Now, it's beautiful because this project is showing us that if we donate money to a company that gives away rice and food, it tracks the rice and food. So you can see you're doing a donation and then you can see this rice bag leaving from the company exactly to which persons or village um, in Africa. So it's creating a blockchain that that will show us that the money we spend, the money we give, the money we donate to poor people and charities is really used to buy food and send the food to the poor people because it's all being tracked and registered on the blockchain. So UNICEF is giving away about 100k um, to all these blockchain startups. I think they are very positive of what they see that is happening with the first startups they started to invest in and that's why i think that unicef in the future will even give more to these blockchain startups because we need transparency when it comes to ngos and all our donations we do to all these people all over the world we need to see what is being done with these donations we need to see that these donations we do are not flowing into a new mercedes-benz or a lamborghini for the ceo of the company but that these donations are really going to the poor people that need it we have learned from history that all these centralized organizations maybe only 10 percent ended up of the donations at the causes we were intending to send the donations to because 90 percent went into these overhead costs of all these organizations so maybe now unicef is going to take the first step now in decentralizing all this space when it comes to donations i think we as a family are on the same line we agree that this has to be transparent people need to see where their donations are ending up and then one more cool thing, yesterday evening we had some visitors and I wasn't noticing Jessa, but Jessa was doing something with paint and colors in the kitchen. Um, my wife Romaine, she obviously she noticed, she wasn't drinking a sang some coke, so she did notice Hi. and she started to make this story doing? about oh Jessa and Jessa was drawing her t-shirt or painting her t-shirt okay. um, and she created oh, no. this really cool t-shirt oh, on the God, front, a oh. bitcoin symbol. <laughs> And on the back, she wrote Maluku Taihutu. Taihutu is our last name. Maluku is the island archipel uh, in Indonesia wow. where our roots are from. And in the front Created. of the shirt, she had the Bitcoin <laughs> and her name and hearts and all kinds of shapes. Jessa is becoming a very creative spirit in this world. And I think it all has to do with the fact that we are unschooling slash homeschooling slash online schooling. So she, she has never learned to live inside a box because she never went to school. She's always thinking outside of the box. And that's why she's always coming up with these crazy ideas, suggestions or creativity ideas that, that I could never think of. 
She is a free spirit, as we call it, and that's what we try to do. We try to provide our kids of a future where they can be free spirits, and we are giving them this time now to be free spirits, to explore the world, and to find their passion and focus on this passion, because this passion is probably going to give them a very happy life. You can run after the money that won't make you happy. If you do your passion every day, now again and again, it will it will internally make you very happy. That's what we teach our kids. Please don't stress too much on all the knowledge people say you should have. Please stress a little bit more about your passion and finding out what your passion is so you can focus your life on something you really like. That was the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your communities, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And like I always end my videos, guys, zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you an amazing Monday and hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye.